by now most of you even all of you watching this video should have one ui5 by now if you don't want to do the heavy lifting and look at all the features that samsung has provided in one ui5 that's where i come in and help you today you find out multiple features that's going to make you hate yourself for not finding out any sooner but first if you want to scroll down and tap that subscribe button next to the title of this video it's going to help this channel out so much it only takes two seconds which is around how long it takes ups to deliver 377 packages this first feature is one of my all-time personal favorites but the features i'm going to mention later on in this video will absolutely blow your mind what's everyone's favorite android feature split screen right well accessing your favorite feature has never been any easier than this in one ui5 all you need to do to put an app in split screen mode is to go to your recent app menu long press on the app that you need in split screen mode and you can either put it at the top of your screen or at the bottom of your screen you can also have it as a pop-up window which is an extra benefit to have because this enables you to have three I think you can have more but at least three apps open at the same time that is ultra multitasking right there you literally get three multitasking options just by the single press of an app even before when you are 5 i still love split screen mode and pop-up view but there was always an extra step into opening those apps so that just made me use them less and less and less and eventually they just faded to the background but after this update i'm extremely happy that samsung has made it so much more so much more simpler just go to your recent app menu long press and voila choose where you want it it's it's just that 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 extra bit of step that you need before one ui5 made me not use it at all and it's crazy because that's how lazy humans really are making it this seamless to access such a great feature is definitely a well thought idea which i'm really happy about because this shows that samsung isn't just blabbing out software features there just for the sake of it they're actually thinking about the consumer at the end of the product the next feature i'm going to mention will be used by almost anyone and this feature comes the most handy when you're taking photos every time i get my phone out to take a photo i'm never too sure if the camera is going to be underexposed overexposed or if it's going to have just enough light to make the photo come out good well samsung has gave us an extremely useful guide to make sure we capture each and every photo with the most information which is useful for later edits or posting straight to instagram if you open your camera app and go to pro photo look at the top right of your screen you'll see a histogram there now if you're thinking how the hell am i gonna understand this well listen i'm no pro photographer either but even i know the basics of this so that's what i'm going to explain to you right now the more data is to the left of the histogram means that the photo is underexposed this means that less light is entering the camera and you get an underexposed photo with less information the more the data is to the right of the histogram that means that the photo is overexposed this means that you see this means that it's going to look washed out and way too bright what you need to do is make sure that most of the data is right in the middle of the histogram this means that you get the most balanced shot after your photo shoot so when you're setting all your settings manually like your iso shutter speed and all the other stuffs make sure you keep an eye out for the histogram at the top right of your screen the next feature i'm going to talk about will make you grab your phone and turn on this feature immediately yes it's that freaking good but before i tell you i'm just checking up from earlier to see if you've hit that subscribe button is it clicked let's move on most people forget to optimize their smartphone and not doing this will make your phone run slower laggier and just use a lot more battery than necessary in one ui5 samsung's noticed that most smartphones being released nowadays are getting stronger and better artificial intelligence so they're, so they're like okay if that's if the ai is that good why not make use of it so that's what they did samsung is making use of the ai in your s20 ultra and other samsung phones that run one ui5 to make sure that your phone and the apps that you use the most refreshes and restarts obviously whilst you're not using them by turning this feature on you make sure that you never forget to optimize your phone well obviously because your phone does it for you open up settings and go to battery and device care scroll down to auto optimization and turn on restart when needed i said earlier in the video i've used one ui5 for about three weeks now and it's been a heck of a journey there's been a lot of ups but there's also been a lot of downs to find out more about my experience with one ui5 watch this video here like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on twitter it's going to be the first link in the description and i'll catch you in the next one